Okay, so in today's tutorial I want to show you how to create this nice looking calendar inside Microsoft Word, so something like this or something like that. Let's get started. I will start in a blank new document and first things first, jump to layout and change the orientation to be landscape. Now I want those margins to be a little bit smaller, so open margins, custom margins, and I will type in maybe half the inch for every side except for the left one, because on the left side I want to have the image so it should be increased to maybe like 4 inches instead. This should be fine. I will start with the table, so insert, table, and just because we have 7 days it will be 7 times maybe like 6 cells. The first line should be used for the names of the day, so it will be a little bit bigger, and the rest of the stuff should just fill the available space on the page, so make it much bigger for the last cell, then select everything except for the first line, jump to the layout and select distribute rows. That should be fine. Now let me quickly type in the names of the days as well as uh, some random numbers. Ok, so this should be fine for the start. Let's focus on the image on the left side. I will start with drawing a new rectangle, so insert shapes rectangle, and I will just try to somehow fill in the space and be somehow aligned with the table and the margins. And you can see that the bottom margin is probably too big for the table, so let me just quickly resize the table to be a little bit bigger like so, and again select everything and select layout distribute rows. Ok, we need some space on top of the rectangle, so I'll make it a little bit smaller and draw a new text box. So insert shapes text box, this one will be a little bit bigger and just type in January for example, because why not? Make this much bigger, like so, and I believe I was using font Miller Extra Bold, which is a pay free version of the paid font or demo version of the paid font, so you have to double check the license, but I believe you can use it for your personal project. For the shape format, Shape fill should be no fill, shape outline no outline, and then I will try to somehow align everything properly. So this should be top aligned with the table as well as like, and I will most likely increase the size of the font to like 65 just so it's visually aligned with the rectangle on the bottom. I will copy paste it and then type in the year, for example 2022, because 21 is almost reaching it as end, and again I will just make it bigger, but 100 points seems to be too big, so maybe 97 or 96 should be fine in this case. Ok, then align everything just so it's like barely touching everything, like maybe this so, and make this a little bit bigger so it's touching the numbers. Now for the rectangle itself I will use a picture from website Pexels, I already have it in my clipboard, so what I will do is I will right click and select this one. I will select format shape, and the line should be no line, the fill should be Picture or texture fill and I will click clipboard but again I already have it in my clipboard and then just set the tile picture as texture, set the size to maybe like 50% for both X and Y and set the alignment to be center. So now what I want to do is set the color of the text to be similar to the top color of the image itself but there is no way how we can sample colors in Microsoft Word so instead I will quickly jump into PowerPoint. So I will copy this into clipboard, quickly jump into PowerPoint, blank presentation, paste it somewhere, doesn't matter where and insert a new shape, could be for example a rectangle and draw it on top of the image just so it's touching and we can see the colors properly. Set the outline to no outline and for the fill I will select this eye wrapper tool and try to sample one of those top colors from image. And you can see it kind of looks fine, so I'll copy this back into clipboard, jump back into Microsoft Word and just paste it somewhere. Now in order to see those swatches I have to jump into the shape format, open shape fill, select more fill colors and just click OK button and that will cause the color to be inside the swatches. So now what I can do is I can select both text areas and select the font color and select one of my recent colors. I, you can see I've already pre-recorded this tutorial more, multiple times so I have more recent colors but this one should be the right one. And I've, I'm pretty happy with the result, it looks fine to me. So the only missing part is to, to somehow tweak the table. So I will select everything, in the layout I will just center everything. The first line could be for example font Roboto, normal, not thin, and all the numbers could be Roboto thin. Roboto fin, and I will just increase the size to maybe like 30, 35 or so. So for the font color I can make this just dark blue, like so, for both the tech, uh, names of the days as well as the numbers. Then I will select everything and change the outline, so select this menu, borders and shading, and change the color to some dark blue as well, maybe this one, hit OK button, it looks a little bit better. So the only missing piece compared to my previous example was this shape wasn't just a rectangle, it was it has rounded corners. So let me see, let me show you how you can do this as well. Select shape format, edit shape, and you can change the shape to basically any kind of shape. I believe I was using this one, which is called rectangle single corner rounded. And you can see that this corner is rounded, but that's not the one which we want to be rounded. We want the bottom right to be rounded. So what I will do is I will select rotate 
flip vertically, which also flips the image. We don't want this. So in the format pane, I will select the fill and just uncheck rotative shape and we should be fine. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create a nice looking calendar inside Microsoft Word with almost no effort. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.